what's some of the emotions, I guess, running through your mind right now before your uh, main event fight? Is it more nerves, excitement? What are some of the emotions, I guess, for you? Focus. You know, I've been, had a long training camp. You know, we got an excellent game plan at, at this point, and I just want to execute that game plan. So I'm just staying focused and uh, focusing on, on, on the game plan. What does it mean for you to be in the main event? Is it uh, special, exciting? What, uh, what, is, what does it mean to you? Uh, nah, I, 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 it's just another fight. Um, I'm not worried about being a main event or not. I'm just happy to fight. I love fighting. I don't care if it was under this table. You know, as long as I'm fighting, I'm happy. Uh, I would like for for the titles to have to been online, but you know, I understand boxing is a business, and sometimes you know, in a business, you got to take the short end of the stick. Sometimes uh, Danny did not want to make the weight, but I wanted to fight, so of course. Sometimes you gotta take the bitter with the sweet, and, and then I'm just happy to be fighting. It's a bitter sweet. It's a bitter sweet. Yeah, I mean, sweet that I'm fighting them, I and a little bitter that I'm not fighting at one uh, for the titles at 140. If you lose the fight though, isn't your IBF title at stake though? Nah, if you don't if you don't make the uh, 140 pound limit, then you can't you know win or lose any bet. Is this fight? Lateral entry to the 47 pound ranks, knowing that you guys can still go back to 40, and and is this a just to keep a keep busy fight? Uh, it's not a keep busy fight. Uh, you know, I would like to have made 140 pounds and fought for the titles. Uh, Danny wasn't willing to do so, so I, I just took the fight anyway. You know, I'll return to 140 or 147, either or whichever best opportunities come around, and uh, just go from there. So with, 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 his, with his reluctance to come to what you asked, that's sort of a moral victory for you? No, I, I didn't even look at it like that. I didn't even question it. I didn't even uh, buck it. Because I understand that, you know, we put our bodies through a lot. You know, and him saying that he couldn't make the way anymore, I respect that, you know, and I, I was, you know, willing to work with that because, you know, a lot of y'all see us fight, and y'all see us take punches, and y'all think that's it. But it will actually, that's the easy part for us. You know, the dieting, the, you know, the, the sacrifices that we make, not doing um, things that we want to do, taking our body through all this punishment through training camp, that's the rough part. And if he wasn't willing to or felt like his body was up to uh, doing that, I respect it. You're fighting out of New York. Are you going to have to save the beard? Yep. Yeah. How's that going to feel for you? Is that good for the training camp or do you actually like the look? Uh, I just, it, it's comfortable for training camp, but actually I prefer it a little lower. All right. So, what's your prediction, Mayweather Pacquiao? Uh, of course, I have to go with Mayweather, but uh, should be a, it's a close fight. I'll say 60-40. Uh, 40. How do you feel that they put Amir Khan so high up there, you beat him, and he's like one of the guys that's next in line for that winner? Possibly. The one Boxing is a sport, but it's also a business, and that's the business part that I understand and, 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 and respect. Would you be interested to fight at, at 140? Are you okay with that? I would rather have it at 140, but if they would have said the fight was at 47, 135, 150, I, either way, I would have took it. How hungry are you? Got a question over here. Yeah. Uh, I'm not worried about. I'm not really trying to prove anyone wrong, but uh, this fight is important for me. You know, I want to win it. I want to be considered the top guy, and uh, Danny Garcia is considered the top guy. That's the guy that I want to be. You know, a lot of people say and go back and forth about, you know, him beating Matisse and me losing to Matisse and think that's supposed to, you know, mean something. Anybody that knows boxing knows that that, that means absolutely nothing. Uh, come Saturday night, I'll prove to everyone, I'll show everyone that I'm a better fighter than Danny Russell. Do you, do you Listen, Brian Agents from Behind the Glass, nice thank you for having the interview. Real quick, Angel Garcia is on record saying that the difference between the fight will be the, him, the power, saying that you're a come forward fighter and once you come into Danny's range, he'll make you pay. Do you feel like that's a fair assessment or do you offer something different than what Angel has said? Uh, that's his opinion and I, and I respect it, but uh, I mean, we can go on record and say Danny uh, is the better puncher, 
But dude, if you said Danny Garcia was stronger than me, then I would tell you it's a lie. How about uh, the show between Khan? He put, he stopped Khan. You be Khan's the decision. Does that say anything yeah. about the power, or that you're not really concerned with that? Look at your. We're not worried about the power, man. And and, and 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 these questions keep coming up, and I don't know why, but. Uh, maybe I just like to go through y'all notes as y'all go through. If you're gonna go through the notes, go through the notes, man. Uh, uh, Danny Garcia had a split decision with Kendall Hall that I knocked out. No one fails to mention that though. But we're gonna keep going with y'all, bro. Oh yeah, Danny's the puncher. He's strong, and he's gonna knock Lamar Peterson out if he's gonna win. But uh, basically, I, I'm comfortable. What I'm telling you is, I'm comfortable. Wherever way this fight go, I'm comfortable, and uh, I'm almost guaranteed to win. Do you, I appreciate your time. Thank you. Do you, 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 you Danny is taking the uh, easier way out by so making the fight at 143? Um, no. Nah, uh, again, I'll say I respect his decision. You know, I know we take our bodies through a lot, and uh, I don't think you guys quite understand that. You know what we take our body through. So him saying, you know, you might be like, man, it's just three pounds. He could have made it. That three pounds is hell. And I respect this decision totally, 100%. And uh, we just gonna go with 143. Lamont, um, Enrique, the casual fan from the Boxing Voice. Uh -huh. I have a question. In the media, uh, Danny has been saying all his opponents, that all the opponents you beat, he has beaten. Do you think they're taking you lightly? No, I don't think they're taking me lightly. Uh, of course, he's, you know, as, as a fighter, he's gonna point out certain things to make his confidence, to boost his confidence, but he know at the end of the day, this is a fight. Right. He know at the end of the day, he never fought no one like me. Right. And, uh, Go ahead. Uh, I'm expecting victory, a big victory Saturday night.